Hello everyone, now let us discuss about 2023 ICD 10CM coding guidelines for neoplasms part 3. This is the final part. In the current session, we will be focusing these following topics. The first one is sequencing of neoplasm codes, current malignancy versus personal history of malignancy, leukemia, multiple myeloma and malignant plasma cell neoplasms in remission versus personal history, aftercare following the surgery for neoplasm, follow-up care for completed treatment of malignancy, prophylactic organ removal for prevention of malignancy, malignant neoplasm associated with transplanted organ, breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, and finally the new addition, secondary malignant neoplasm of lymphoid tissue. First coming to sequencing of neoplasm codes, it is subcategorized into Encounter for the treatment of primary malignancy, encounter for the treatment of secondary malignancy, malignant neoplasm in pregnant patient, encounter for complication associated with neoplasm, and complication for surgical procedure for the treatment for neoplasm, and pathological fracture due to neoplasm. Now coming for encounter for treatment of primary malignancy. If the reason for encounter is treatment of primary malignancy, then primary malignancy should be the PDX, followed by any metastatic sites. Let us see an example. Female patient with ongoing chemotherapy after right mastectomy for breast cancer. Here, the reason for visit is breast cancer. So, C50.911, malignant neoplasm of unspecified site of right female breast and additionally, Patient has recently had right mastectomy. Patient had right mastectomy. It is not mentioned whether it is recent or not. So, status code Z90.11. Acquired absence of right breast and hip. The next guideline is encounter for treatment of secondary malignancy. When the encounter is for a primary malignancy with metastasis and the treatment is directed towards the secondary site or metastatic site, then the metastatic site is designated as PDX. And the primary malignancy is coded as additional code. Let us see an example. Patient has primary colon cancer with metastasis to rib and is evaluated for the excision of portion of rib bone. Here the reason for visit is treatment of metastatic site. So that should be the PDX. C79.51, secondary malignant neoplasm of bone, followed by C18.9, that is malignant neoplasm of colon unspecified. This is the primary malignancy. Next guideline, malignant neoplasm in a pregnant woman. When a pregnant woman has a malignant neoplasm, a code from the subcategory O98.1, it is further subcategorized. Malignant neoplasm complicating pregnancy, childbirth and purpurium should be sequenced first. Followed by appropriate code from chapter 2 to indicate the type of neoplasm. Let us see an example. A 30 year old pregnant female in first trimester evaluated for pituitary gland malignancy. So first PDX should be O98.1 which is nothing but malignant neoplasm complicating pregnancy first trimester followed by C75.1, that is nothing but malignant neoplasm of pituitary gland. Next guideline, encounter for complication associated with neoplasm. When the encounter is for management of complication associated with neoplasm, such as dehydration or malnutrition, and the treatment is only for complication, then complication should be coded first, followed by appropriate code for neoplasm. Whenever complication is dehydration or malnutrition, complication should be coded first. But there is an exception to this guideline that is anemia. When the admission or encounter is for the management of an anemia associated with malignancy and the treatment is only for anemia, appropriate code for the malignancy is sequenced as PDX. Malignancy is coded as PDX followed by T63.0, which is nothing but anemia in neoplastic disease. This is an exception. Let us see an example. Patient with pancreatic cancer is seen for initiation of TPN. 
for cancer related moderate protein calorie malnutrition here this is a complication so first you need to code com malnutrition as pdx followed by malignancy code e44.0 which is nothing but moderate protein calorie malnutrition followed by c25.9 which is nothing but malignant neoplasm of pancreas unspecified next guideline complication from surgical procedure for the treatment of neoplasm when an encounter is for the treatment of complication resulting from a surgical procedure performed for the treatment of neoplasm designate the complication as pdx or first listed diagnosis see the guideline regarding the coding of current malignancy versus personal history to determine whether the code for neoplasm should be assigned or not the next guideline is pathological fracture due to neoplasm in this there are two scenarios when the encounter is for the pathological fracture due to neoplasm and the focus is on the treatment of fracture a code from the subcategory m84.5 this is for the expandable pathological fracture in neoplastic disease should be sequenced first followed by code for the neoplasm this is first case and second case if the focus of treatment is neoplasm with an associated pathological fracture then neoplasm should be coded first followed by code from m84.5 for a pathological fracture now here you can see the summary encounter for the treatment of primary malignancy so reason for encounter should be treated as pdx and similarly encounter for the treatment of secondary malignancy here also if the treatment is directed towards secondary malignancy secondary malignancy should be pdx next is malignancy malignant neoplasm in pregnant women first pdx should be code from category o9a.1 malignant neoplasm complicating pregnancy childbirth and parturium followed by code for neoplasm the next is encounter for complication associated with neoplasm there is an exception is anemia associated with malignancy whenever encounter is to treat the complication that is associated with the neoplasm if the encounter is for the management of complication then complication should be sequenced first followed by neoplasm code there is an exception in case of anemia whenever anemia occurs as a complication and anemia is treated even in that case also malignancy should be the pdx followed by d63.0 code next is complication for surgical procedure for treatment of neoplasm if the management is for the complication for surgical procedure for the treatment of neoplasm then complication should be pdx next is pathological fracture due to neoplasm here reason for visit should be taken into consideration if the focus is treatment of fracture then pdx will be pathological fracture if the focus is for the treatment of neoplasm pdx will be neoplasm based upon the reason for visit the next guideline is current malignancy versus personal history of malignancy when a primary malignancy has been excised but further treatment such as additional surgery for the malignancy radiation therapy or chemotherapy is directed to that site then primary malignancy code should be used until the treatment is completed primary malignancy is excised but further treatment is going on in such case primary malignancy code should be given until the treatment is completed and when the primary malignancy has been previously excised or eradicated from its site and there is no further treatment of the malignancy directed to that site and there is no evidence of any existing primary malignancy at that site in those cases a code from the category z85 that is nothing but personal history of malignant neoplasm should be used to indicate that former site of malignancy in simple words 
if treatment is going on for a primary malignancy you need to code the malignancy code only when malignancy is completely eradicated and there is no further treatment and there is no evidence of any existing primary malignancy in these cases you need to use the personal history of malignancy code that is category z85 so sub category z85.0 to z85.85 should only be assigned for the former site of primary malignancy not for the site of secondary malignancy this is important codes from the sub category z85.0 to z85.85 should only be assigned for former site of primary malignancy not the site of secondary malignancy and the code z85.89 may be assigned for the former site of either a primary or a secondary malignancy next guideline is leukemia multiple myeloma and malignant plasma cell neoplasm in remission versus personal history the categories for leukemia and the category c90 that is multiple myelomas and malignant plasma cell neoplasms they have different codes indicating whether the leukemia has achieved remission or not so based upon the documentation in the medical record you can use appropriate code the next is personal history there are also z85.6 personal history of leukemia and z85.79 personal history of other malignant neoplasm of lymphoid hemopoietic and related tissue and if the documentation is unclear whether the leukemia has achieved remission or not then provider must be quiet so there are different codes for neoplasm especially in case of leukemia multiple myeloma and malignant plasma cell neoplasms there are different codes for in remission versus not achieved remission so based upon the documentation you can code appropriate code and if the documentation is unclear as to whether the leukemia has achieved remission or not then the provider must be quiet next guideline is after care following surgery for neoplasm code z48.3 which is nothing but after care for surgery following neoplasm should be assigned in this case and you can assign additional code to identify the neoplasm the next guideline is follow up care for completed treatment of malignancy you need to assign z08 encounter for follow up examination after completed treatment of malignancy for after care following surgery of neoplasm surgery for neoplasm you need to use the code from the category z48.3 followed by neoplasm as sdx and second guideline is follow up care after completed treatment of malignancy that is malignancy is completely cured cured and the patient comes for follow up in that case you need to assign z08 encounter for follow up examination after completed treatment for malignancy the next guideline is prophylactic organ removal for prevention of malignancy here the patient is not having malignancy but there may be risk factors for that the patient is undergoing prophylactic removal for encounters specially for prophylactic removal of an organ such as prophylactic removal of breast due to a genetic susceptibility to cancer or a family history of cancer the principal or first listed code should be a code from the category z40 encounter for prophylactic surgery followed by the appropriate code to identify the associated risk factors such as genetic susceptibility or family history the next guideline is prophylactic organ removal for prevention of malignancy if the patient has a malignancy of one side and is having prophylactic removal at another site to prevent either a new primary malignancy or metastatic disease 
A quote for the malignancy should also be assigned in addition to the quote from subcategory Z40.0. For example, patient is having right breast cancer and patient is going for prophylactic removal of left breast. So additionally, right breast cancer quote should also be given along with Z40.0 quote. And a Z40.0 quote should not be assigned if the patient is having organ removal for the treatment of malignancy. This should be assigned only for prophylactic removal and Z40.0 code should not be assigned if the patient is having organ removal for treatment of malignancy such as removal of testis for the treatment of prostate cancer. The next guideline is malignant neoplasm associated with transplanted organ. A malignant neoplasm of a transplanted organ should be coded as a transplant complication. This is important. A malignant neoplasm of transplanted organ should be coded as transplant complication. So first PDX will be assign the code from category T86.0. Complications of transplanted organs and tissues followed by code C80.2. That is malignant neoplasm associated with transplanted organ. And finally use an additional code for specific malignancy. So, three codes must be used. PDX should be category from the categories T86 and then followed by C80.2, malignant neoplasm associated with transplanted organ and additional code for specific malignancy. The next guideline is breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma. So, breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, BIA, AL, CL, is a type of lymphoma that can develop around the breast implants. So, assign code C84.7A, anaplastic large cell lymphoma, ALK negative breast for BIA, AL, CL. And do not assign, do not assign a complication code from chapter 19. In case of breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, you need to assign code from C84.7A. And you should not assign a complication code from chapter 19. Now coming to new edition of 2023, that is secondary malignant neoplasm of lymphoid tissue. This, is, this guideline is a new addition. Secondary malignant neoplasm of lymphoid tissue. Now, secondary malignant neoplasm of lymphoid tissue. In general, what we will do? Whenever there is secondary malignant neoplasm, there will be a specific code for that particular organ or site. But when a malignant neoplasm of lymphoid tissue metastasizes beyond the lymph nodes, a code from the category C81 to C85 with the final character 9 should be assigned identifying extra nodal and solid organ sites rather than a code for secondary neoplasm. For example, for metastasis of B cell lymphoma to lungs, brain and left adrenal gland. Assign a code from C83.39. You should assign code C83.39. That is nothing but diffuse large B cell lymphoma, extra nodal and solid organ sites. And you should not use secondary neoplasm of lung, brain or adrenal gland. Because it is a secondary malignant neoplasm of lymphoid tissue. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.